Well, hello and welcome everyone. My name is Alexis Rogers and I'm the customer relationship lead here at Ray Capital. And welcome to our presentation today on how to make Ray Capital yours. And, and happy Wednesday too. Um, can't believe that August is already at an end. We got summer, uh, September, you know, right around the corner. Um, and so the, the goal for, for today's webinar is that we just want to help you feel more confident using this tool and also just uh, highlighting all the different ways you can brand right capital to you and really set forth that narrative you are looking for when communicating with clients and how you're displaying information to your clients. We'll also just bolter, bolstering your confidence and using a platform that is really just tailored to you and to your clients as well. And so today we'll be highlighting the ways that you can further brand right capital to you and your, your firm's looks and how you want to have uh, right capital utilized and presented. We're also going to be highlighting all the different ways you can leverage templates to further enhance communications with yourself and with your uh, with your clients. And we're also going to be highlighting the uh, notification center, which is a fantastic resource in right capital that can just really you know help you to, to make right capital yours and have a streamlined communication process within right capital. And then at the end of this webinar, I will also be answering any questions that you might have. So if you do have any questions throughout the presentation, please feel free to navigate to the GoToWebinar panel and utilize that questions menu drop down to just drop your questions there and I'll be sure to, to answer any questions you guys might have. So uh, please feel free to, to leave anything there. And so to get started, um, when we are in Right Capital, the first place that we'd wanna go is we want to navigate into this gear icon in the upper right hand corner and then into accounts and then we navigate into this profile section and if you haven't already done so you'd want to fill out all this information here so this is important especially for when you are creating a, a report or a pdf report this is all the information that's going to be displayed within that report so you know if your phone number is not uh, a bunch of fives then you definitely want to make sure that you can modify that to reflect your your phone number you can also set your firm name and your address and all the different ways you can contact you. And once you have that foundation set up, you would want to navigate into this customization tab right here. And this is where you can really start to tailor that platform to your desires and to what you want to present with yourself and with your clients. So in customization, this is where we would go to navigate and upload your logo. So if you wanted to upload your own logo or image instead of using Ray Capital's logo, you can always click on this update button right here. And you can either drag and drop a file onto here, or you can search through your computer or all the different uh, options if you have any one of these options available to you. You can also set your color theme within Ray Capital from this customization tab as well. So if you wanted to utilize something that was you know, not the default white and beige, you can either manually input here your hex code if you have that information available to you you can type that in here but if you don't that that's perfectly fine as well you can also click on this hashtag right here and you can start to drag and just really tailor whichever color you want you can get it to whatever color you want to view and then you can do the same thing for that secondary color and you also have the ability to uh, color pick using this dropper right here to choose whichever color you have on your screen that you might want to be utilizing um, for your color theme. So you have a lot of different options here in terms of how you can select which colors you want to utilize in Right Capital. And if you uh, ever want to you know, reset it, you don't want to use these colors anymore, or you're just messing around with it and you want it to reset it, you can always click this reset button and it would just revert back to the colors of the Right Capital default. And you can even further customize your experience with the right capital too, is in that if you do want to utilize these colors for the portal itself and for within right capital, you can certainly do so, but you also have the extra functionality of choosing whether or not you want to incorporate these colors into any of your PDF reports that you're curating. So the default is gonna be using your primary and secondary colors that you set here for the uh, PDF report, but you do have the option to not use or not include those colors into a PDF report. So it's just another level of um, customizability that you do have available to you to really just make sure you're tailoring right capital to you and what you're trying to deliver to your clients. 
Another thing that you can utilize to further enhance uh, your experience at the right capital can be found also within the gear icon here and within this template section. And so one of the main templates that you'll find here that I wanna go over with you today is this planning access template in particular. And so this is just one of the ways that you can engage your clients and one of the ways you can further customize and create a, a streamlined process in terms of how you're interacting with clients and making sure that you know you, you have any sorts of phases in terms of in engaging your clients. You can utilize this planning access tool um, to further customize their experience and write capital. So for example, you can set up templates based on each stage that you might be highlighting with a client. And so say for the first stage for a prospect, you would be highlighting the basics information. You can always click on this add template button right here. And you can start to check off whichever portions you wanna include. So right now I have the prospect for a stage created and that's gonna be covering just some of that basic information. So going over their snapshot, their balance sheets, their liquidity and their tasks. And it's also going to cover their asset allocation, um, some of their cash flows and their profile as well. And you can also click on this add template button to add another template. So let's say we wanted to input prospect stage, stage two. You can rename or retitle this template by clicking on that icon that we just did and then select this check mark button right here to save the name change. And then here you can uh, proceed with, you know, curating that secondary stage of what you want to highlight with a client. And so maybe for the stage, you're gonna be diving a little bit deeper. Maybe you're focusing on student loans. You're gonna be going over their um, allocation path, still highlighting, you know, the same things in retirement, but maybe also incorporating their stress tests and maybe social security and maybe their estate as well. And so you can set that here as a template to utilize and this can be extremely helpful in that you can um, apply templates straight from here and you can apply it to all clients, to current clients, any uh, prospect clients or whatever client groups you might have. But you can also apply it to specific clients from this list. And so one of the ways that this is extremely helpful when you are trying to you know, further customize right capital to you and have that tailored experience for each of your individual clients and maybe the client groups that you are addressing is that when you go into a specific client and you click on this pl planning access tab, you can set one of the templates here. So let, maybe let's, let's do prospects first stage. And then your template from over there will feed directly here. And that'll be what's utilized as, utilized as their planning access tool. And what this can be helpful in is that, and one of the ways is if you're inviting a client, they will have this tailored experience of when they open up the, the system, they would only have access to these modules that you grant them access to. But there's another level of um, functionality to assigning this sort of planning access and that if you click on this arrow right here and open this client and client access mode, what is also known and called as the, uh, the client presentation mode, you would see that similar view of everything that you had checked off within that planning access template. And so this is a key tool in that if you are also gonna be presenting this client plan, you can have that curated and focused presentation that highlights whichever modules you had selected. So you can highlight you know, the dashboard snapshot, their balance sheet, you can highlight their investments and retirement, everything along those lines. So you can really have that focused narrative of what you're trying to cover with a client if you are presenting within the, the right capital system. So you'll have that level of um, functionality and that you can really have this very nice, smooth presentation within Right Capital that really uh, highlights the, the information that you wanna be highlighting during your presentation with a client as well. Another key functionality in that if you are using this as a presentation mode is that if you were interacting with our fantastic support team, if you were chatting with them or using the chat feature, as you can see the chat bubbles disappeared when we enter in this client access mode, so that feature is disabled. So if the support team does respond to anything you might have messaged them about, you would not receive the message while you're in this presentation mode. So this would be an uninterrupted presentation within Right Capital. That would also have your very focused conversation occurring with your client in which you can highlight all of the different uh, items that you had on your agenda. 
while also granting the same control as an advisor. So you'd still be logged in as an advisor, so you can still make changes regardless of what uh, client access settings you're using in terms of if they can update anything. You could also curate reports and uh, update their settings still if you utilize this client presentation mode. And so that's a great uh, template to be using and applying in for the different stages you might be having with a client. So some, some advisors will use this to set up different stages in which you might be interacting with clients. So they'll have the basic first stage in which you might be just going over preliminary data entry and just some of the basic outputs. And then there's maybe that second stage where you start to bolster um, what you're looking at and diving a little bit further into conversations, maybe about uh, deeper subjects such as Social Security and the different filing ages, and maybe doing alternate analyses as well. And so utilizing these planning access templates can allow you to just have that streamlined entry in which you can quickly toggle to that secondary stage or whichever kind of niche you wanted to apply here and have all that information preloaded in which you can um, grant them access if they are invited to Ray Capital, grant them access to those addi additional modules that you're highlighting with them, while also allowing for you to have that uh, further customizability and having a smoother narrative within the client access mode or client presentation mode as well. So it's just one of the ways you can further, you know, make Ray Capital yours, really tailor your experience with Ray Capital, and also really make a, a client feel as if this is really tailored to their needs and their specific wants and what they want to see within the system as well. So it's just one of the fantastic visuals that you have available to you um, and one of the functionalities that you do have available to you. Another uh, sort of template that you can utilize within Ray Capital within the gear icon template section that you can set forth is you can also utilize different report templates as well that I would like to cover. Um, so here you can curate different report templates and you can always click this add template button once again. And you can maybe set forth different uh, stages of reports as well. And so you can highlight those same things. So if you did want to curate a report um, and just have that streamlined template set, set up already, so you don't have to go in every time and select the same sections here, you can completely do that within this template section and set this report template up. So that way you can have that basic information already checked off for you. And you can just click that download button when you are in a client plan and you want to curate a report nice and quickly you'll have that option. So it's just one of the other ways in which, you know, if we now navigate to one of, you know, my sample client plans, and we go into the three dots and report, we can now utilize that report template that I had just set up back in my advisor portal. And I can just quickly toggle to it and everything's already checked off. And if I wanted to cover maybe something additional for this particular client plan, maybe they're a little bit more um, or going into something different with this particular client that might be more advanced than the typical uh, first stage for clients, then you can always do uh, check this off and maybe exclude something that you didn't want to include within the report. So it's just one of those ways you can have streamlined process within Right Capital to just take some of that legwork of if you were previously selecting all the modules individually with each report, it's a great opportunity for you to have that you know, template set up. And you can even curate templates straight from here within a client plan. So if I did you know, check off more and I really need to incorporate this and have this used as a report template going forward, you also have the option to save a new template uh, directly from a client plan as well. So maybe I, I built forward and I said prospect um, first stage second option because maybe I have another niche that's starting to open up with my client base and I wanted to have a different report template available you'll now see that as a, a secondary option as well and then going back into the gear icon template section and just highlighting one of the final templates that you do have available to you to just really maximize your efficiency and set forth you know, that standard uh, data that you want to use in Ray Capital, you do have the option to set a template for the snapshot feature within Ray Capital. And so uh, just to give a brief background, the snapshot is intended to really just enhance your experience and create a key visual of uh, all of the important information that you can find within Ray Capital and through the different modules. Take all of that and put it into a nice 
um, typically one page report where you can have a lot of efficiency by just highlighting all the key information in one space. And so you can fully customize this as you please and for whatever way you're trying to, to highlight or have a conversation with a client. So if we click on add template, we can start to build our own template. Let's say phase two. Because maybe we already have phase one already curated as we can see before. And so you can start to add items by clicking on add item and start to select which information you want to pull and have display in the snapshot as your standard template. So let's say you always want to cover historical net worth. You want to highlight um, their income sources in retirement. And maybe you also want to just add a, a note and have notes incorporated here to just set forth you know, some agenda items. And maybe you also wanna cover you know, their retirement income stability ratio. And so you can add all these different snippets of information and you can fully customize this too. So if you wanted to drag and drop things and reorder things, you have that available uh, ability to you. And so if we didn't like that over here, we can just drag and drop as we please and we can even delete things of course you know i have too many notes so i'm just going to remove that one and maybe we'll include savings rate as well because we want to highlight all these key visual items and so you can set this forth as a standard that you want to utilize and that you can apply to different client plans just to have that nice easy ability to just quickly apply what you have set as what you want to see within a, a client snapshot feature and so we can apply this template to you know, all clients, to specific client groups, or we can even apply it to just different uh, clients in general, individual clients. And then that would transfer over to their snapshot. And so that this is a key visualization and that you can highlight a lot of different information in this one space, have a, a nice presentation that's, you know, highlights all that key information. You can set forth what you want to have as maybe your agenda for meetings within this note section or maybe things that you wanna highlight when it comes to their plan within this notes section. And you can set this up into different phases and have it be tailored to the specific types of clients that you might be uh, working with, or you can have it be set up in, in the different stages in which you might be engaging with a client. So this is just one of those ways that you can create a pipeline for how you're interacting with your clients and maybe setting up those different phases in which you might be slowly uh, incorporating them more and more into the financial planning process and engaging them further into deeper conversations within Right Capital. So it's just one of those fantastic ways that you can really have a customized experience for yourself and just have um, a lot of that legwork of what you might have been customizing on your own before accomplished straight here from this template section. Another key tool that you have available to you as an advisor is within this bell icon up here. Here's where you'll see notifications. So if anything's occurring with your clients or if they're logging in or anything along those lines, you'll, you'll see a bunch of different uh, activity here. But we first wanna navigate to this notification sec settings right here. And in notification settings, this is where you can fully tailor your engagement with Right Capital and also control what you can see and what you can't see for um, what clients are doing and what's occurring with your client plans. And so there's gonna be you know, one main, uh, three main facets here for the different ways you can receive information of what's occurring within Right Capital for your clients. The first one we're gonna to highlight today is the notification center itself. So what we'd see here in this notification section, if I did have anything selected, you would control via this, uh, these check boxes underneath include in notification center. And so some of the notifications that you can include in the notification center is you can include everything from the onboarding process for clients. So you can choose to receive notifications if a client has signed up using the invitation link, link if they signed up using a leads URL, and if the clients have completed the data input process or completed those six steps of data entry. So if you did have this selected, you would see a notification in this notification center right here if a client had hit that complete button for the six steps of data entry. 
You would also have the ability to include uh, these notifications in the daily report email that you would receive if you wanted to. And you can also have an instantaneous notification email sent directly to you if, as soon as a client completes any of these tasks. So if somebody did hit that complete button, you could receive a, a separate notification email letting you know that they did hit that complete button and they've completed the six steps of data entry. And you can also have it uh, included in your daily report email that goes out each day. And you can, of course, have all of this checked off and included in the notification center itself. And then the same thing goes for vault activities. So you can also choose whether or not to receive notifications for if clients upload documents to the vault and for if clients download documents from the vault itself. So say you did have a, you know, a task assigned to a client to upload you know, maybe their uh, state beneficiary list or maybe upload their latest statement into the vault. If you have these checked off, you would receive a notification letting you know that the, the client has uploaded uh, a document to the vault to, to let you know that you know they've been they've completed that that task that you might have told them to do when you were meeting with them. And then further below is where we can further customize your notifications for client activities themselves. So on that same vein of getting notifications for if a client completes a task that you've assigned to them within the task section, and if a client has updated a task. And so these ones are going to be only available in the uh, notification center and in the daily report email. But you could have these uh, both selected to be included in both of those fields. And then you can also receive notification too if a client updates their information in any way. So if you say invited them and they have updated their profile, you would receive uh, in the daily report email or in the notification center, you'd be able to see that a client updated their uh, their profile information and then the same thing too it, it, we have a deeper dive in terms of what your tasks are so you can control what you receive for task notifications for yourself so you can uh, choose to see or receive notification when a new task is assigned when there is a task that's due you know soon meaning today you can also control if a t receiving notifications of a task is due in a week or in two weeks. And then you can also set uh, reminders for yourself or if a task is overdue that you haven't completed, you can choose how often you wanna receive reminders to complete those tasks. And so you can have that set up on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis if you wanted to. And then you'll also find here, if you do have right Intel, um, you can receive notifications for key events if you wanted to. And so you can receive that in the daily report email or in the notification center uh, once again. And so this is just the different ways that you can really customize what you're receiving in terms of um, in, seeing the engagement that your clients might be participating in Right Capital and also just for yourself too, for tasks that you might be assigning or maybe things that might be overdue. So you can fully customize you know, your experience and also your client's experience here. And you'll see you know, if you have it checked off, all those different notifications loaded into here. And so that's just one of the ways that you can utilize um, notifications. And you can also assign tasks within this task section. And you can assign task templates even more importantly. So in tasks, task templates, you can curate a template by clicking on add template. And this can be another way that you can engage clients and have that um, further tailored experience in, in Right Capital for your clients and maybe for yourself too. So you can set up maybe phase one and start to just add tasks of what you would expect to, to have as your, your standard engagement with clients maybe. So maybe upload document to Vault. You can say how long they have to complete this task. So say seven days and you can keep adding additional uh, tasks as well. So this can be really helpful in just kind of streamlining that, that process and that onboarding process that you might have and that you can um, set forth, you know, this nice template and apply it to, to clients when you do curate them or to fully customize their experience in Right Capital and have them, you know, complete that, that, that basic information that you might need them to do or however you want to have them engage in the system. So maybe something like review net worth 
and you can give them seven days to do this and maybe even have them update their latest statements. You can give them a little bit longer to do that. And maybe have them review um, the blueprint module. And so it's just one of the ways you can um, curate this to have as a template for tasks. So for phase one, we have them doing the basics of things. You can have them um, notify them that you want to have them provide you with the latest statements, provide them with maybe um, some of that basic information. And you can certainly curate multiple templates too, to also have um, further customizability for maybe different niches that you might be highlighting. So if you're doing a lot of student loan planning and estate planning, maybe you'd have different tasks assigned um, for those instances. But you can also set it up in the way that I'm kind of highlighting today of the different phases of that first phase when you're trying to collect that maybe basic data entry. And then the second stage in which you might be uh, having deeper conversations and maybe collecting different kinds of data that you might not have, not have gone over in phase one. And then maybe phase three in which you're really trying to highlight all the different recommendations and start to curate maybe the, the action plan for, for them. And so once you curate that template, you can navigate back into all tasks and you can click on add task from here and then you can apply one of your task templates. So let's say phase one, you can choose when the due date is and you can select which clients you want to, to apply this to, whether it be all clients, a specific client group, or just uh, individual client plans. And you can choose who to assign it to, so whether it be yourself as the advisor for everybody or for the client or co-client. We can click Save, and that'll preload all of those tasks to that client that I just assigned it to. And so that's just one of the ways that you can um, see and fully customize your experience and how you're engaging your clients and just take it that extra level of really having that personalized experience for clients that makes them feel like there's an extra uh, care put into their plan and for your engagement with them. And also just alleviate some of that burden of maybe having to continuously input the same task repeatedly and set the standard in which you can just easily apply this template and all of these templates to just have that customized experience for the client while there's, there's less leg work on your end to just apply that extra touch that clients really do appreciate for um, engaging with them.